Welcome to Focus on Crestview. I'm Dennis Mitchell, President of the Crestview Area Chamber of Commerce, and this morning I'm joined with our co-host, Alicia Booker, our President-Elect of the Chamber of Commerce, and also with North Oklahoma Medical Center. Correct. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning to you. And that we are overjoyed today to have representation from the school system. In this case, it happens to be from the north side of the, of the county, and we have with us as our special guest, current principal of Crestview High School, Mr. Bob Jones. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. We're delighted to have you here for all kinds of reasons, one of which is we're very proud that you were, in fact, a former chamber president. Uh, not, not very many folks in the school system get a chance to do that, but somehow you juggled all the balls in the air and did a fine job as our, our president just a few years ago. But now we have a, a different role over here as you are uh, coming through and taking a look at the relationship of the, of the schools to the community, the business community particularly. So I'll just ask you a straight up question first off here. North County Schools, you know, why is it important for you folks to be our sponsor for the breakfast here for the Chamber of Commerce? Well, Dennis, it's um, when I became the principal at Richburg Middle School 12 years ago, I, um, one of the things I noticed was, you know, we, we spent a lot of time asking our community for a lot of money. Um, we asked for ads in our programs, ads in our yearbooks. We asked for banners on our outfield fences, on our football fences, on our, on our gymnasium walls. Um, we asked the, the business community for a lot. and. Um, I thought, well, it would be a nice way to give back uh, I, since I had gotten involved in the chamber and saw how the people of the chamber cared about the community, um, that we, we should show the chamber and the community that, that we appreciate what everybody does for us. So um, we began sponsoring a breakfast once a year, 10 years ago, and I'm very proud to have been able to help get that off the ground and get it going and coordinate that between the other principals. And, and it's just our way of saying, thank you to the business community of the Crestview area in North Oklahoma County for um, doing all the things that you all do for our businesses, for our schools, I mean, for you know, sponsoring the, the ads and buying the banners and other things. And you know, when we have a big event, like when the Crestview High Band, um, two years ago, we went to the Rose Parade, uh, yeah. one of the highlights of my career, getting to walk in that parade. Uh, you know, the business community stepped up and really helped to fund that and helped us, especially with some of the students that could not afford to go themselves. So it's, uh, it's been a lot that the, the businesses have done for our schools and we just take this one time a year to say thank you. And I believe you touched on it a little bit um, with, with talking about some of the things that the business community sponsors, but how important is that relationship between the, the business community and the school system? Well, it's extremely important because it's all, we're all part of the community. We're, we hopefully are preparing the future leaders of Crestview, you know, that, that, that down the road that, that years from now, the people sitting around this table will, will be hopefully Crestview High or Baker or Laurel Hill graduates so that, that we can, you know, raise our students up, that we can train them, and then they can grow up and come back and give back to their community. So it's important for the teachers, it's important for the students to see a good relationship between our business community and our schools. And we certainly have this relationship. We have a scholarship program uh, that that's right. is out there. In fact, this year, uh, Dr. Pam Meadows, the uh, chair of the Board of Trustees for North Oak Oklahoma Medical, uh, said that they expect they probably will have two scholarships this year and there's a chance for actually for a third one so this is a uh, uh, all part of the school system as well for as your as your students move on from from Crestview High School on to bigger and better things wonderful stuff well let me ask you this since we we got you here captive and we know you have a, a vast experience in the chamber as, as, as uh, going through as a president-elect for one year followed by the president and even a past president year so you have three year tour of duty with us so what's your personal experience with the chamber well you know coming from the schools and being involved in the chamber um, and a lot of times I kind of felt like an outsider because I wasn't a business owner wasn't involved in a business but uh, when I realized we're, it's all about our community and no matter what we're doing we're all part of the community uh, and again I felt like that it was very important for for myself for our schools to have a representative in the chamber and Hopefully with my upcoming retirement, we'll have some other principals will step up and continue to have a presence in the Crestview Chamber so that we can continue to have that good dialogue and the good interaction that we have right now and the good relationship we have between our businesses and our schools. 
Well, that's great. I know uh, this uh, this week I'll be visiting the uh, Interact uh, Club, uh, speaking with them. Uh, they've asked us to come talk to them about community opportunities. Very important to me. I've worked in a lot of mentoring programs and getting the folks at that age to understand where they're going to be going and how they're going to get there. And the chamber is one of those vehicles that they can ride to as, as high as they want to go. And so it's just, just absolutely delightful to, to have that. Well, all the things that are going on, we have some changes occurring at Crestview High yes, School coming do. up. And uh, you have been uh, very kind uh, to bring us uh, some of the folks who are going to be uh, stepping into some of the new roles coming up here. Uh, what do you see for Crestview High School's future? Do you, uh, what, what's the, the big thing in the ticket that you're not going to be there that's going to be happening? Well, I feel like, you know, number one, I think we're, we're you know, both Crestview High and Baker are getting new principals. Um, you know, Lee Martello just started and she's in her first full year as a principal at Laurel Hill. So um, lots of new leadership in, in all three of, of our, our schools up in the north part of Okaloosa County. So um, I think in all three cases, we're, we're, you know, all the schools are being left in great hands. For one thing, uh, you're going to see that, that the people coming in to lead our schools are hometown people. Uh, Mike Martello, who you're going to see here in a few minutes, is going to join you, is um, a Baker graduate back there serving his school. Dexter Day is a Crestview High School graduate, um, going to be back serving Crestview High School. So I feel great about all our schools. That, 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 that we're, I'm leaving Crestview High in great hands, and I know that Tom Ship feels the same way about leaving Baker in great hands out there. Well, it's been a journey. Uh, I've been watching Crestview High School for about the past three decades, and uh, that really have come a long way, and it's, uh, as well as from Baker as well. Uh, spend a lot of time out there uh, in, in that part of the world as well. We all, all of us who live in the country understand uh, that a school like Baker is hometown to everybody and That's you right. really have strong ties to it. Crestview is exactly the same way. Well, I appreciate very much you being here with us today and uh, we will ask that our folks uh, stay with us. We are have our next segment we will have uh, Mike Martella, who is the new incoming principal at, uh, at Baker. And we'll have Dexter Day, who is the new leadership uh, principal for uh, Crestview High School. And they're going to give us a lot of good information about all the things that are coming our way and, and the kinds of things that our community can help our schools with. So stay with us. For 29 years, the Relay for Life has been the American Cancer Society's premier fundraising event. This overnight walking journey celebrates our survivors and honors those whose lives were taken by cancer. Help us continue to fund cancer research and provide services for those fighting for their lives. Register your team at www.relayforlife.org and join the rest of the community on April 25th at the Northwest Florida Fairgrounds. Let's finish the fight against cancer together. Cox Media reaches your customers through a powerful mix of digital media products backed by measurable results. Commercials, television advertising, strategically placed on over 55 popular networks, internet, online advertising featured on our popular Cox.com website, mobile, special offers, sales and events delivered to your customers' cell phones, express link, in-depth videos available on demand on your very own channel showcased in your TV ads. Cox Media, your customers, delivered. Welcome back to our second segment of Focus on Crestview. I'm Dennis Mitchell, President of the Crestview Area Chamber of Commerce. Our first segment, we had a lovely interview with Bob Jones, the current principal at Crestview High School, soon to be retiring. And he's been kind enough to bring us uh, some folks from North County who are moving into new leadership positions. So today we're gonna be talking with Dexter Day, the new incoming principal at Crestview High School, and also Mike Martella, the new principal at Baker High School. Well, Dexter, let's start with you. Uh, let's find out a little bit about you and about what you see coming up here in the first year at Crestview High as the principal. Yeah, thank you, Dennis, for having us here. Uh, a little background on myself is I'm from Crestview, born and raised in Crestview. Um, I had uh, three uh, um, brothers and sisters, two brothers, Greg and Gary, and my sister Donna. 
and we all graduated from Crestview High School. Greg was, in fact, one of the first graduates from Crestview High School, the new school at Crestview High School. Well, it's not new anymore, but it's, uh, it was then. And my mother also worked at Crestview High School as an occupational specialist. Uh, I left Crestview High School, went to William Carey College and graduated from there, played baseball and played a little short stint of minor league baseball. And uh, that's a little background from Crestview. Uh, our goals at Crestview High School is people say, what are you gonna change? We're not gonna change a whole lot. We're just gonna continue to try to move forward, uh, move, uh, working with our sister schools and try to do a lot of vertical alignment with a lot of our subjects doing that, working with the middle schools and elementaries. But most of all, Crestview is a unique, a unique school. And when I say unique, I'm saying that we have a lot of choice um, classes and courses on our school grounds. We have the welding, we have the uh, um, automotive, we have uh, the electrical wiring, we have IT, we have culinary, you know, we have a, a array of that and we just got this year, we've got cosmetology on our on our campus and hopefully uh, we can, uh, I can initiate the uh, HVAC, heating, air conditioning and ventilation also at Crestview High School because the we can, uh, not only are we going to prepare students for the college bound students, which we have a lot of AP courses, ACE courses, getting those students ready for college bound. But we also want those students to leave Crestview High School with some type of certification so they can get into the working job world and be ready for that. Well, certainly, and many of those, those choice curriculum <coughs> items out there are the folks that we expect to see as business owners in the community in the future here shortly. Correct. Correct, and, and they will, and we want to get them ready for those roles. You know, not not as as be a business owner, but can move into that type air, you know, that that field and do a great job there for Crestview and stay around here and bring, you know, and have that quality of work back here in Crestview. Well, when the air conditioning's off in the middle of August, you really want somebody who knows what they're doing and knows how to run that business, don't you? Oh, we want to get it up and running again. <laughs> we want to get it up and running again. Well, so many things go on at Crestview High School. It's a, it's a busy place. You have, obviously, the academics that go on. They have to meet the state standards and all those sorts of things. But then there's also what I call the rest of the quality of life. And it goes everything from the football team and the baseball team to, the, to all the drama, drama court. Uh, groups they have out there, lots of things. And so interacting with the community is a sort of a vertical integration. It's not just a singular educational process by itself. You have well, to manage a lot of those things. Well, it is. And we have the flagship. We have the big red machine. It we is. have the big red machine and they do a great job. We have our leadership groups that, that get out in the community and do a lot of drives for the community, people in the community. And our athletic teams are doing well. They're doing really well. And we have a drama club that's just phenomenal. People need to come out and see our drama club. They put on uh, two, I think, two plays during the year and they do a fantastic job doing that. So we have a lot of things going on at Crestview High School. We are blessed every year uh, to have Chanticleer come to our, our December breakfast and it's a packed house. Everybody loves that. Those kids every year, year after year after year, just put on a spectacular performance for us. Right. They do a great job and Kevin Lust does a great job with that also. So we have an array and, and right now we have a young lady, uh, cannot remember her name. She's going to the National Culinary Arts Competition and, you know, carving out food that looks like animals and she's just doing a fantastic job and Miss Knight does a good job with her. So we got a lot of things going on. A lot of things happening. Well, not not only are things happening on the east side of the Yellow River, but over on the west side of the Yellow River in Baker, boy, things are busy. Tell us a, a bit about it, if you would, Mike. Absolutely. First, thanks for having us, Dennis. I appreciate uh, uh, you having us here and uh, getting the word out about what's going on at Baker. Uh, it sounds like uh, Dexter and I have a very similar background. I, too, grew up, uh, born and raised there in Baker. Uh, I'm the youngest of four, and all of my family uh, graduated from Baker as well. Uh, kind of following in the footsteps of my father as well. He was the assistant principal at Baker from 1977 to uh, 1995. So uh, uh, kind of following in that family tradition. Uh, we've got some exciting things happening at Baker as well. Uh, the, Dexter mentioned the expansion of the Choice Program. Uh, we have had a culinary arts program for the past several years as well. Uh, this year we are uh, going to um, envelop our TV production class into the Choice Program as well. So before we leave here today, hopefully we can set up maybe a field trip. <laughs> um, but we're really excited about that. We too have a welding program. Um, we're, uh, we have a great staff at Baker School. Uh, so many of those staff that, that are there now um, graduated with me, went to school with me. So we are, we are a very tight-knit tight -knit, uh, faculty as well. And uh, we look forward to uh, just meeting a lot of challenges and celebrating a lot of successes there at Baker School. 
Well, we were just out recently at a ribbon cutting at the Baker uh, Block Museum over there for the Mercantile Group. And the one thing you find out about Baker is those people really are enthusiastic about home. Absolutely. One thing that just happened to Baker here recently, um, uh, we were designated by the state of Florida as a historical site. Uh, Baker School was. Uh, we were the first accredited school in Okaloosa County. Okaloosa County was actually carved out of a piece of Santa Rosa uh, County and uh, in 1923 uh, it was accredited. So uh, we just celebrated that. Uh, a couple of years from now we also are going to be celebrating 100 years of existence as well. So we've got some, some very exciting things coming up. Well, the 100 years is uh, sort of important in a number of uh, locations around this area. The 100 year with Crestview, of course, is right on, on top of us as well. So we'll all be uh, celebrating together. Well, what do you see as the biggest challenge coming up for you as a new principal in, in, uh, at Baker High School? Well, I, I, looking at uh, our, what we have coming, going forward, uh, our staff, I'm really happy about that. I don't know that there's going to be a lot of challenges. I, I, I guess the biggest challenge that we have is just staying on top of. You mentioned earlier the, the changes in curriculum standards. Um, but staying on top of that, making sure that our faculty is on top of those things uh, to, do, to stay uh, ahead of the curve, so to speak. Well, it's a, big, it's a big chore out there. Whenever you have hundreds and hundreds of uh, teenagers showing up at your doorstep, you're going to be busy pretty much from early in the morning till late at night. Uh, as far as uh, what's going on at Crestview, do we have anything uh, new and different going to be going on with Crestview High School? You're adding any new programs? Well, like I said earlier, we want to add the new program as far as the heating and ventilation, air conditioning, and we want to do that. But we're always, we're expanding, we're busting at the seams, Crestview High School. I'm going to say right now, we're one, if not the largest school in the district right now, and, and we're just hurting for space is what we're hurting for. And, and you know, uh, our band is growing, our football, our athletics are growing, and we just need more space, and therefore it's going to cost more money to build more things, you know, buildings that we need to store things and, and practice facilities and things of that nature. So we're going to do a little push on that. I have some ideas what I'd like to do with that. Uh, I have some other ideas of, you know, implementing a little more technology in the classroom for our teachers and doing some things to assist them. So we got some ideas going on. I got a great staff I'm working with right now, and it's, I just want to say to Mr. Jones, I appreciate what he's done to support that and getting me ready to uh, step into this position. Well, thank you to both of you for taking time to visit with us today, Mike and, and Dexter. We really appreciate learning about Crestview High School and Baker High School. And if you'll stay with us for our third segment, we're going to have Alicia Booker rejoin us, and we're going to be talking about all the things that are going on with our Crestview Area Chamber of Commerce for the month of March, and boy, is it a busy March. Stay with us. When this hospital system needs to manage the care and information of nearly a million patients, Cox Business is there. When experts are world apart and needed in one place, we're there. And when visits need to happen well after visiting hours, we're there too. With a $16 billion network, Cox Business powers healthcare. We're there for your business too. Internet access plays a critical role in the education of all children. Yet, for financial reasons, children are not always able to access the Internet. Hello, I'm Superintendent Mary Beth Jackson, and I want to make sure our families in Okaloosa County don't struggle to compete in the digital age. An exciting new initiative called Connect to Compete is making high-speed internet available and affordable. Help our students and our families connect to compete. And welcome back to our third and final segment of Focus on Crestview. I'm Dennis Mitchell, President of the Crestview Area Chamber of Commerce, and I'm rejoined by our President-Elect, Alicia Booker, with North Okaloosa Medical. We have lots and lots of things to talk about happening in the Chamber this month. Yes, we do, and we'll go ahead and just jump right in. The first thing that I always like to mention is our new members for the month. And Dennis, we have a lot of new members for um, this month that joined us in February. So we're gonna plug along and go ahead and recognize those members. Um, first of all, we would like to welcome Whitworth Builders Incorporated, uh, Lewis Stevens, 
Crestview Strength Works, LLC, JT Bass, and Benjamin F. Edwards and Company, uh, Nicholas Barlotta III, and Bland Engineering, Don Bland. Don Bland is a very interesting fellow, does some really high-tech, uh, neat, uh, secret kind of stuff, 3D printing for special gizmos, really fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Also like to welcome Dale Riley Photography, Dale Riley, and Kona Ice Inland, Okaloosa Walton, Victor Stahl, and AXA Advisors, um, doing business as Legacy Wealth Management, Ryan uh, Mabry, and Waterstone Mortgage Corporation, and Interior Motives, Seaside Engineering and Surveying, Warren Averett, and Extreme Concepts. Busy month for new members. We yes. are always glad to see that. Yes, yes, very good. And also with the new members, um, we like to focus on our old members as well. So what we have is the Chamber Spotlight. And in the Spotlight, what we do is we just select randomly uh, active members in the, in the Chamber. And this month, our Spotlight members are Molten Land Title Incorporated and the Old Spanish Trail Shrine Club. And so we have lots of good information about them that you can see in the Focus Magazine. And also we'd like to recognize them at the upcoming Chamber Breakfast. So to hear more about them, please join us at the Chamber Breakfast or uh, use the Focus Magazine to get the new information. Um, we, we are still busy, Dennis, with um, some upcoming uh, events for the month of March and uh, one of those is of course the chamber breakfast that will be coming up soon. The fabulous chamber breakfast? Yes, the fabulous <laughs> chamber breakfast. And we also have the um, health and wellness committee, committee that will be um, meeting. They meet on the first Tuesday of each month and also we have the Crestview um, Arts and Culture Committee um, that's going to meet the second Monday of each month at 8.30 at the Journey Java Connection. Also, the Military Affairs Committee, 11 a.m. at the Coach and Ford. That's the second Tuesday of each month. Boy, Mike and Betsy Roy have done a great job leading that this year, haven't yes, they? Yes, they have. And also, the Government Issues Committee meets the second Wednesday of each month. Um, and they meet at the Chamber Building at 8.38 a.m. And they'll have donuts and orange juice. And this month, it's about the, uh, the Emergency Response Certification Program. So if you have an interest in that, please come. It's open to non-Chamber members yes. as well. Yes. And our membership committee meeting meets um, at 12 noon at Country Chicken and Fish, and they are popping and, and actually doing a great job considering all of the new members that um, we have joining us. Uh, the scholarship committee meets the first Wednesday of each month at 8.30 a.m. at the chamber. And um, we also have coming up the pilot committee meeting, and that uh, will be coming on the uh, March 20th, but also we have something else going on on March 20th as well, Dennis, the Men's Health Lunch and Learn at 1130 at the Crestview Chamber. And that's a very important one. That's led by some of the folks over at North Oakland and Medical, and it's a, it's a topic we're bringing in Dr. Weaver from, uh, from uh, Pensacola, and he is a retired Navy physician who's also working still in practice, private practice today. But a real serious topic, we have room for 50 people and uh, again, you do not have to be a chamber member to attend this, but it's highly important. Men and women, please uh, come to this. It's a, it's a great program. Dr. Weaver's going to have some hard-hitting, very important kind of medical information about men's health. Very good. Um, also, we have the Ambassador uh, Committee meetings coming up at the Journey Java Connection. Um, there's a ribbon cutting for King Ranch Homes uh, coming up on the 28th of March, so we want to make sure we join them for that uh, ribbon cutting. Be sure that they will have all of their new inventory in. They are just getting started. They will have all their new inventory, so come on out to the ribbon cutting. It'll be a lot of fun. And we also had a great ribbon cutting um, at the uh, Bacon Mer uh, Baker Mercantile store, the new store last um, for for this past month, and we had a great time out there with uh, wasn't that, that group. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> it was really exciting. Um, also, we have a uh, big event, one of the, the um, big events that the Chamber sponsors, which is the Triple B, and that's coming up on the 29th of March. It'll be here before you know it. And this year was celebrating 10 years of the Triple B Festival. Thousands and thousands of people will be there. It is not to be missed if you like good food and good music. Yes, and that's one of the things we're focusing on this year is um, just to have lots of great things for the family to 
um, participate in, bring out the children, we'll have bouncy houses and things for them to do. Um, it's a lot of fun for the whole family. And the, the bee and the bluegrass, um, we are having something new at it this year. We're actually having an artwork contest. So we're asking the different schools to participate to have artwork to talk about um, what the um, blue bluegrass, blue water um, for the Triple B is all about. So we want to involve the community and the students and get them involved in the, um, in the Blackwater um, River. And I believe we'll have a second stage this year uh, sponsored by Hub City Ford, I believe, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes, we will. So lots of exciting things going on with the Triple B and you just have to come out and experience it. Can't miss it. <laughs> We have a couple of other ribbon cuttings, I think, of yes. uh, uh, Interior Motives is one that we'll be doing uh, shortly, as well as Adams Homes. Yes. Uh, so we, we, I'll, I'll be sure you come out for those. Uh, Adams Homes is March 14th and Interior Motives is March 4th. And um, we want to make sure that we let everyone know that um, all of these activities, we just invite the community out. Even if you're not a chamber member, you, we want you to come out and experience these things um, with us, and that's what we're here for. There are lots of fun, and we have lots of things going on. Well, I'll tell you, the chamber has just been busy in so many ways, uh, and it's, it's just a, such a pleasure. We had such a great uh, interviews today with the folks from the school system, with Bob Jones uh, being the sponsor for the for the March breakfast, the uh, North, o North Okaloosa County Schools, and we were able to meet Mike Martello, uh, from uh, from uh, Baker High School as, as well as uh, uh, Dexter Day from the new principal at Crestview High School and learn a lot about that. But those two schools have a lot of things going on and they get a lot of community support and it takes a lot of community support. It's more than just classrooms and teachers. Mm -hmm. That's a huge puzzle all by itself. But the things that they do that make the quality of life for those students as well as our entire community is just something you, you intangible and you really can't buy it at any price. It's good stuff. Very good. Well, we are pleased uh, that you've been able to join us uh, for, for this uh, version of the Focus on Crestview. We have a lot of things happening uh, throughout the month of March and if you need to uh, find out what's going on just visit our website crestviewchamber.com and you can see a listing of all the activities and again we want you to come out and see what all the fun and hoopla is about. We have a great time up at uh, up in the north end of the county doing lots of lots of fun stuff. So we'll see you soon and uh, hopefully don't forget the Triple B March 29th. <music>